Well, here at home, we could be seeing some rain from Nicole in the Tennessee Valley later this week, but let's check in with Allison to see what we can expect. Allison. All right, so let's start with those rain chances then for the week ahead and when that's going to time out from Nicole here in our local area. So we're talking about dry conditions today and tomorrow. Really Thursday and Friday are the days that we're going to be watching for. So kind of some big changes just in the past 24 hours of that system, that track shifting a little bit more to the west, bringing in those greater rain chances right here locally in the Tennessee Valley compared to what I was telling you yesterday morning. So we're looking at that rain arriving Thursday night and then especially for through the day on Friday, particularly early Friday morning through midday, kind of clearing out later in the day and then dry conditions. But remember, it's going to be chilly for the upcoming weekend. So let's go ahead and look at that latest track. And first of all, let me just kind of let you know subtropical. You may be asking what's the difference between a subtropical storm versus just a tropical storm. Basically, it's getting its fuel and characteristics a little bit differently. So a tropical storm uh, that's going to be one that's really just fueled by the warmth of the ocean. Subtropical, we're getting some energy from the ocean, but also we have some upper level flow, uh, some a wider wind field as well. So a little bit of a difference in characteristics. Either way, uh, it still can potentially pack a punch along the Florida coastline, and that's what we're seeing here with that 4 a.m. advisory. Max sustained winds at 45 miles per hour, but tracking westward, in fact, a little bit to the southwest in the next 24 hours, and then making that landfall potentially as a Category 1 hurricane there along the eastern coast of Florida. So as you heard in that story, those hurricane watches are in place right now, and then pushing through Florida coastline curving back to the east. Now this is just the track of that center of the storm. It can be anywhere within that cone. The difference is, especially with this subtropical nature, we can have it a little bit be more unbalanced, which means certainly seeing some of that rain on the north and even westward side of the system. That's why we're talking about those rain chances here in the Tennessee Valley. So here's the current setup with clouds and radar. There's Nicole out there in the Atlantic Ocean. What we're looking at in our local area, that front is now to the south of us. That's what triggered those few showers that we had yesterday. Remember, we do have that lunar eclipse. It's in the partial phase right now ongoing this morning. The problem is we do have some of those clouds. So basically Chattanooga West, we're dealing with some clouds this morning, a little bit clearer further off to the east. The problem is the further to the east you go, we then have some fog in Cherokee County, Fannin, Union, Polk County. So that's also going to hinder that visibility. But if you can step outside maybe a few different times this morning just to see if you're able to see the moon, that's probably going to be my advice. The next one, not until 2025. So you're going to have to wait about two and a half years because it'll be in March of 2025. So so certainly worth stepping outside and just seeing if you can take a peek at the moon. Here's a look at the day today. Overall, a really nice mix of sun and clouds. Seeing more of those clouds this morning, but becoming mostly sunny for the afternoon. Great conditions for this evening as well. So generally clear skies overnight. That's going to lead us to our Wednesday. Our Wednesday plentiful sunshine throughout the day. Now temperatures today are still going to be well above normal. 73 to 78 for your highs. Tomorrow we're going to start to moderate just a little bit. High temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. So Wednesday Wednesday is really going to be a beautiful day. As we look ahead to Thursday, there's the rain shield further to the south of us on Thursday morning from Nicole. What we'll be dealing with are partly sunny skies during the daytime on Thursday. So generally clouds are just going to be increasing, pushing up on that outer cloud deck. By Thursday night, then here comes that rain that we were talking about. So seeing a lot of that system kind of swinging to the north with that rainfall moving into our area. On Friday, we have that tropical moisture with us. Here comes that cold front that we were talking about yesterday sweeping through. So that's going to help them push it further to the east, but not before we certainly do get that rain Thursday night and through the day on Friday. But by Friday late afternoon, early evening, do expect that to be out of our area. And then comes that colder and drier air behind that. Now, like we saw with Ian earlier this uh, season, we could still have some fluctuations in those rain chances and that track. So right now does look like some significant rain for our area but that could still change a little bit if it does end up pushing further again to the east. So the potential for some lower in totals to our western communities, but notice a large portion of our area, maybe one to three inches picked up for this. So certainly something we're going to be watching. We are behind on rainfall, but if you get all this at once, that can turn out to be a little bit too much. Now let's reset a little bit. That's again the end of the week, Thursday night and Friday. Today, no rain chances. It's election day. You're not going to have any issues. It's a mild start this morning, mostly 
locations are in the 60s, although we do have a few spots like Bledsoe County, McMinn County, there in Tefanon County that are in the 50s right now, 66 here in Chattanooga. As we go hour by hour for your election day, here's what we're expecting. So those partly cloudy skies for the next few hours, those temperatures staying in the 60s, 65 degrees at 9 a.m. Hitting 70 by 11 a.m. and then mostly sunny and that warmth really building up for your afternoon, 77 at 3 o'clock, 76 degrees at 5 p.m. So really beautiful weather for this election day Tuesday. Abundant sunshine tomorrow. Watching for that rain moving in Thursday night and Friday. And then boy, it is going to be chilly this weekend. Look, Sunday morning 31, the high on Sunday only 48 degrees. 31, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least it's dry for election day and hopefully it will help with voter turnout. Yes. Thank you, Allison.